Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brian Petovich here, tracking the risk for some strong and severe storms as we go into Saturday night and Sunday morning. This is going to be an interesting setup by the weekend. Looks very similar to the setup we had last week on Wednesday that produced a couple tornado warnings, including a tornado in parts of you know, Union County. So let's get right to the details on this because today we've got gorgeous conditions and this is kind of the precursor to everything. You know, you see this setup here across the country. It's just absolutely beautiful. Got mostly sunny skies, really warm conditions. Um, I'm going to turn the surface temperatures on just so we can bask in the glory of what is some amazing temperatures out there. Um, we're going to, those are actually the wind speeds. Let's put the temperatures on here real quickly and I'll kind of show you the, uh, the temperatures across most of the country right now is just absolutely beautiful. We've got really warm air surging in across the south. We'll turn on these uh, surface temperatures and you see a lot of 70s and 80s. So this is a very warm air mass setting up here across the south. There's going to be a big storm system which is just entering the west coast now. That's going to be our weather maker as we go into the weekend. So between now and then, not a whole lot is going to happen. But let's look at that severe weather outlook. All right, so let's look at the severe weather outlook for tomorrow. This is going to be uh, day two, we call it. So this will be for tomorrow. You see it start to develop across the middle of the country. We'll go to day three. Not much going on there, but it's day four when things start to get interesting. We see a much bigger area of severe weather we're watching. So this is what we call day four. Um, if you look at this, this is a 15% prob in the yellow, and this is a 30% probability of seeing severe weather. So that's basically going to be um, Friday. As we go to Saturday, you'll see that risk shifts to the east, and you can see now the Western Carolinas start to get into that 30% or the 15% range, the 30% not too far away. We'll go to Sunday, and you can see most of the Carolinas in that 15% um, as well. Let me show you kind of another product that kind of shows the risk for severe weather a couple days out. So looking at what we call the European ensembles, which is 51 variations of the European model, you can see yeah, Friday to Saturday, 12Z to 12Z is basically Friday morning, 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. on um, Saturday morning. Um, so you get the Friday to Saturday time frame. So you see that risk for severe storms there. And then you look at the Saturday 12Z, which is 8 a.m. to Sunday 8 a.m., you can see that risk to our, our west and then Sunday to Monday. So Saturday and Sunday right now look to be the two days. And if you look at the contours here, um, pretty high chance of severe weather. Actually, the, the modeling showing, you know, 60% chance here and that's moving into the Carolinas. But even on Sunday for the Carolinas, I notice we're in that, you know, 30 to 45% range. So that's a pretty strong signal. And that's a European. If we look at the GFS um, um, AI model, which is the machine learning version of the GFS. You can see kind of the same thing, maybe not as strong a signal, but you still got both of those in that area. And so the SBC outlook kind of reflects that. This is a look at the SBC outlook showing the same thing. So there's some really good indications, unfortunately, that this could be a potent severe weather setup. So let's look at this system. What's it going to look like? Well, let me back this up a little bit. I'll move my head out of the way. So this is going to be tomorrow. And um, we'll go through the middle of the week. We'll get to Saturday right here you see this line of storms now the timing is always crucial just like we saw with last week's system if the line is entering in the morning hours um it could be a little weaker and then re-intensifies it goes to the east but right now the wind energy with this is is pretty pretty off the charts i'm gonna look at the surface winds we'll look at the surface winds as this moves across the country that's a lot of wind energy um, moving into the carolina saturday and sunday that's at the surface let's look at 850 because I think if you look at the 850 millibar winds, which is just off the surface, what we would refer to as the low level jet, um, we'll get towards Friday. So look at that wind energy right there. Um, this is going into Saturday, into Sunday. So I'm going to pause it right there and I'll move this map down so we can see it. So this is basically early Sunday morning. And this is the wind speed up at around, move my head over here, around 5,000 feet. If you look across the Carolinas, um, that's some pretty strong winds. You're looking at wind speeds 70, 80 miles per hour possible embedded in there. So that's the kind of wind off the surface. If it gets transferred down to the surface, that's going to produce severe weather. So that's the concern right now. It's only Tuesday, but the potential is there as we go into Saturday and Sunday again for severe weather. Again, this is the Sunday outlook right now. We're already in the 15% um, outlook. If we look at Saturday, we've got the 15%. So you get the idea. Basically, we're going to see a line of storms here on Saturday, pushing east and overnight crossing over the Carolinas 
getting here in the morning and then in the afternoon pushing into the eastern carolina so definitely a day we're going to want you to stay weather aware saturday night into sunday morning we'll have more updates but i wanted to give you a heads up it's certainly the potential that we're watching for saturday night into sunday for big wind at the minimum and potentially embedded tornadoes